Stan Jubalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations here to explain in the simplest possible terms what a varactor diode does. Now a varactor, also known as a very cap, is a diode specifically designed to exhibit certain capacitance characteristics when it's reverse biased. As you probably already know, any diode that is reverse biased, that means that the cathode, which is the uh, pair of vertical lines in this case, a diode just has one vertical line, an ordinary diode, a varactor has two, just to differentiate it. Uh, any diode, though, when reverse biased this way, such that the cathode receives a more positive voltage than the anode, will not conduct, but instead develops a depletion region or a depletion zone between the n-type and the p-type semiconductor materials. As this voltage grows larger, the depletion region, region widens and the capacitance goes down. A varactor, which stands actually for variable reactor, and I think is a better term than very cap, um, but it, it can be called either. A varactor diode is a specially controlled, uh, specially controllable diode whose capacitance in the reverse bias situation varies roughly according to the inverse of the square root of the voltage, V, right here. Now, I have never seen this particular symbol before, but it's an adjustable source of direct current. Positive polarity here, negative polarity here. So electrons would try to flow this way, that is to say from the anode to the cathode, but they can't do it. They can flow this way, but not this way. In most ordinary diodes, this voltage varies uh, the voltage at which conduction begins when electrons flow this way is called the threshold voltage or the uh, basically the threshold voltage and it is about a half of a volt in on the other hand if you connect a diode up like this so that it's negative polarity terminal goes to the anode, the diode will not conduct until it reaches a certain critical voltage, which is usually quite high, called the avalanche voltage. And then all bets are off, the thing breaks down. Most diodes have a quite high avalanche voltage. Um, Varactor diodes are specifically designed to exhibit a certain characteristic curve of frequency or of um, capacitance versus applied reverse bias. Now, just in the simplistic sense like this, you're not going to get any use out of this thing. If you want to get any use out of it, you have to connect it into an external circuit. using it as a capacitor. But this alone will not work with, the, with most external circuits because the direct current voltage from the battery will appear here. In order to prevent that from happening, you have to put capacitors. I'd rec recommend putting capacitors on both ends of the output going to the external circuit. Now you have here 
a variable capacitance which depends on the series value uh, values of the capacitances C1 and C2 plus the avalanche or the varactor simplified varactor capacitance and you get a, a variable capacitance at this point right here which depends upon the voltage. The, as you increase the voltage again the capacitance right here goes down. As you decrease the voltage the capacitance right here goes up. Uh, diodes like this are used in such things as tuned circuits tuned inductance capacitance circuits they can be used in oscillators and in general in any application where you want a variable capacitor capacitance um, and you don't want to get one of those old-fashioned gang uh, meshed plate jobs that are getting increasingly hard to find they've become antiques anymore these days with you can determine this voltage by means of a devoted a voltage divider across a normal source of direct current so that's basically what a varactor or very cap does is it exhibits a capacitance which varies according to the inverse of the applied DC voltage. Now if you impose AC or a signal such as my voice on top of that um, reverse bias as long as the voltage never uh, goes into the forward zone and always stays reversed you can also use it as frequency modulation generators or frequency modulators but that gets a little tricky because without the right response curve you'll get distortion on the voice either a muffled bassy sound or a tinny uh, sor sort of sound like uh, there's <laughs> like it's uh, in some of those you've heard music that sounds like that sometimes so it you want the response to be as linear as possible you have to have a certain characteristic for the wave that you use in conjunction with this voltage but in the simplest possible terms once again a varactor or very cap is simply a diode that has a capacitance rather than exhibiting rectification properties and that capacitance increases as the voltage goes down and decreases as the voltage goes up. Lots of different kinds of reactors are available with different uh, frequent uh, different uh, capacitance versus voltage characteristic curves uh, but this is as, about as simple as it can get. Stan Gibalisco, W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations, saying 73 and so long, which in my native fist, whether a very cap is used in the circuit or not, always translates to so long, di 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 da di da.